Hey guys, welcome back to the Elite Four Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we crushed Bruno's hopes and dreams, and in this episode, we're going to take down Karen, who's wallowing in the darkness. I'm not gonna bother doing a female voice, don't even ask me. I'm Karen of the Elite Four, your butter's helm using. I love dark type Pokemon, I am known for my overpowering tactics. You can take them, just try to train me. Let's go. Short, sweet, to the point, and scorching hot. Love the combination. Eddie Hoozle, Karen, the master of dark type Pokemon of the Elite Four. She starts off with Umbreon, the evolution that is added to this generation by making Eevee super happy with drugs and then evolving him at night. Very high special defense and defense, decent attack, low speed, low special attack, low special defense, and hmm, which one should I destroy him with? Go with increased accuracy. Good call because she will spam the hell out of his ability as a tank and use double team. Which is why I'm using Signal Beam. Thank you. Signal Beam is amazing. Man, once he learns his next attack, it's going to give him such good type coverage. Electricity, bug, the other type, and fighting. Ah, oh, I forgot Signal Beam could confuse. That's beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. I completely forgot Signal Beam had that ability. I don't even know what the percentage is. And another critical hit. Thank you, Amparos, for being amazing as usual. Alright, what's she sending out next? Murkrow, the flying type. And I'm not even going to deign to go easy on her. If this was a Hodgecrow, I'd be s I'd be terrified. This is a Murkrow. I'm not even remotely scared of this thing. Did decent mm, more chunk of damage more than I thought it did. I thought it would only do about 20. It did about 40. Double my expectations. But its survivability? The same as what I thought it would be. Crap. And 46 for Ampharos. Thank you. Free level. Give me my money. Oh boy. She's already switching to her main. She must be terrified of my power. Switching out to one of my favorite fire types of all time. And one of the ones I hate fighting the most. Houndoom. By far one of the best designed Pokemon of all time. Very high special attack. Very high speed. Pretty good attack. Piss poor defense, special defense, and health though. So if you get an attack off, oh god, I have to beat him now! I forgot he gets Nasty Plot. He probably also knows Dark Pulse and Flamethrower, and more than likely Solar Beam. Because that's exactly the moveset I'd give him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, the next attack will likely level him so much. Oh, you bitch! Pretty sure she's the only Elite Four that will withdraw a Pokemon. <sighs> that actually works out very well. Because if she had not done that and Houndoom had attacked first, would have leveled Vaporeon immediately. Let's see how she likes it. Yeah, Vileplume? I don't know why she has a Vileplume. It's not a dark type. Hey, 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 guess what? Guess what? You're dying. Oh boy, I hear my cat meowing. Please don't ask for- don't, I'm hoping my cat does not come downstairs and cry for food. That is my one hope in life right now. Amy Hoozle. Vileplume gone. Very easily too. Gengar. Probably her most dangerous Pokemon, actually. Obviously it's a ghost poison type, not a dark type, but... Still very fast. Has levitate, so ground type attacks won't hit him. Very good special attack. I still can't get over that little gap in his teeth. That looks so stupid. It makes him it turns him from ridiculously scary to ridiculously comical. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Focus blast. Well, bye, Tauros. It's been nice knowing you. Yep. That I did not expect. I expected him to have psychic, shadow ball, hypnosis, and dream eater. Honestly. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. Because that was my strategy, was go out there, hit him with a Zen headbutt, and walk away laughing. 
Okay, use Focus Blast again. Don't care. I might want to revive uh, Tauros at some point. I did not expect him to use Focus Blast, and if Focus Blast was to be used... You bitch! Ah, oh, that woman is clever. Screw it. If it hits one more time... Oh god, Dark Pulse. It's by far the scariest sound ever. Awesome. When Gengar comes out, Gengar will be leveled unless it's a focus plus and I'm screwed. Okay, finally hurt Gengar. All I need to do is hit you once. You're far from being backed into a corner. Oh, you asshole! You knew we were gonna die and you were gonna spite me. Bye, Typhlosion. That was a mean, mean move. Admittedly, if she had another Pokemon to use, that would have been a very, very good move, but... Well, aren't you good? I like that on Trainer. And you're humble, I like that. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, that is only a selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I love your style. I understand what's important. Go on, the champion's waiting. And I'm going to have to heal, like, now, because, yeah. That one I did not expect at all, oh god. Sorry, my, uh little footstool thing that I have here that I rest my feet on sort of almost gave way underneath my feet. <sighs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be honest. Karen gave me more trouble than I expected her to. Thank you, Speed of Function, very much. There we are. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking down the champion, the murdering tyrant. This has been a long time coming. I have been waiting very long for my chance to seek justice against this murdering tyrant. The man was innocent. He did not deserve a hyper beam straight to the chest. No one deserves that. Join me in the next episode as we take down the murdering tyrant Lance and claim the title of Pokemon League Champion for ourselves where we will be a benevolent ruler over the Pokemon Kingdom! Next time, let's play Pokemon Hope Gold. <laughs>